Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am officially Leo. You can't do this every time I film. Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I am officially filming my PRK. Can you say hey guys? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am officially filming my PRK experience video. As many of you have been messaging me on Twitter and Instagram asking me to film this because I know a lot of you are interested in this topic because you actually want to get it done eventually. Um, hopefully in the year of 2019. So let's get right into it. It's not the time to play. It's not the time. Okay, so before I get into all of that and the details and the surgery and all of the recovery period, let's go way back and I mean way way back into my childhood just so I can explain um, a little bit about my eyesight and basically um, what I lived through and why I got this surgery Leo no <laughs> no 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 he wants me to play with him okay so basically from about the age of seven um, that's as far as I can remember. I just remember being in class and being told to take notes off the board or answer a question off the board um, Maybe in grade four or five. How old are how old was I in grade four? I'm not really sure but anyway, I would be in class and I couldn't see anything on the board and I wasn't sitting far I was pretty close to the board even then so the teacher started noticing and I guess she called my mom and she was like um I think you should take your child for an eye appointment. She's not really seeing what we're writing on the school board um, and she's having issues copying the notes. So I think that's pretty much what happens to many people. So that's what my mom did. She took me to the eye doctor and they realized I had a pretty mild eye prescription um, and I got my first pair of the glasses, which I obviously no longer have now because that was years and years and years ago. Um, so after that, basically from that point on, my vision just kept progressing and progressing, but not progressing in a good way. It was basically getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Um, <coughs> up until this year, right before my surgery, I was basically not able to see my phone if it was further than here. Anything further than here was completely blurry to me. And I'm not saying that I was never able to see anything it's just like I could see things it just was extremely blurry everything was blurry even when I was meeting up with my husband in the airport he was here and I was walking the separate way because I thought he was someone else so I mean you can really tell how much that affects someone's life but another thing is um, it's kind of my fault the way it affected my life worse than it would have if I did wear my glasses or if I did wear my contacts now the issue with me is I'm gonna say I'm extremely picky. I was, um, I basically made it worse on myself. So for about 21 years of my life almost, um, I lived blind. Well, not really blind, but I mean, if anything further from here is blurry to you, I mean, you can, you're almost blind if you get what I'm saying. So I would never wear my glasses except if I went to the movie theater, if I was taking notes in college or if I was watching TV or using my laptop because even my laptop screen which this sounds crazy to me now because I'm so happy I had this life-changing surgery even my laptop guys like if I had my MacBook on my lap I had to go like this and like get really really close to the screen if I didn't have my glasses on so obviously I had to put my glasses on for that editing and all that stuff for YouTube um, contacts I didn't wear because I like my mascara really really dramatic and you can imagine how hard it would be to take contacts out and put them in when your lashes are up to here. So I live blind. I made my life complicated on myself. Obviously to drive um, in Canada, it was illegal for me to drive without any contacts or glasses. So I wore glasses to drive for that because I absolutely could not stand contacts. Um, and yeah, I lived many, many years not able to see anything. It affected my life. It affected family vacations. It affected outings, um, special occasions. It basically affected everything in my life. Um, and from ever since I was about 14, I think that's when I heard about LASIK and PRK. So um, <laughs> that's when I heard about the surgery. And I remember 
wanting to get it done ASAP. But obviously, as most of you know, I think you have to be 18 or older. Um, maybe it's different in some countries, but for Canada, it's 18. So, um, I turned 18 obviously a while back. Uh, and I didn't, I think I completely forgot about the surgery. Or actually, no, I went to see my eye doctor when I was 18 or 17. And he told me that my eye prescription hadn't changed that much. So he told me to wait a year, and if it didn't change too much by then, then I could go ahead with the surgery. Now, my official plan, because it's basically what I heard about way more, was to have a LASIK. Um, what I ended up having was PRK, which, whew, let me just tell you, the recovery period for PRK versus LASIK are completely different. And I'm going to explain the reason why um, in just a minute. I'm just going to quickly explain the difference between LASIK and PRK um, and basically it depends on your um, your own health and your eyesight um, that's what the doctor bases uh, to figure out which one you're gonna have so I went into this uh, thinking I was gonna have LASIK I had a consultation with a doctor um, and then he checked my eyes and he told me that from a few years back my eye prescription had gotten Worse in one eye, which I believe was this one, because I remember the healing stage was hell for this one compared to this one. And then he told me that one eye had gotten better than before, which you can't really say, but that's what appeared to him. So this one had gotten a little bit better with very, very minimal um, improvement. And this one had gotten a little bit worse. I think my prescription was, my, was it minus? I think minus is when you can't see from far, which is... But I had so I was farsighted I believe hopefully I'm not making any mistakes and when you have a plus on your prescription that's when you can't see from close um, nearsighted my prescription was something like minus 3.35 it was different in each eye which is normal for many people so like I said one was worse and one was not getting better but had gotten kind of better if that makes sense so I had my consultation everything seemed fine um, but before any eye surgery, specifically LASIK and PRK, there is a about 30 to 45 minute eye exam. Um, you have to do either the day of the surgery or beforehand. <coughs> um, and I was asked if I wanted to do it that day during my consultation, which was about a month before I chose my surgery date or on the surgery day. Now, I chose to have that on the actual surgery day. I can't remember why. <coughs> I think it's because the doctor basically had an idea and he basically knew that I'd be able to have LASIK. Didn't know but had a feeling. He said it would be fine if we had it same day. Now this exam is very, very important. You literally can't have these surgeries if you don't do this exam. Um, it's just a regular eye exam when you look into the <coughs> when you look into the little screen they tell you um, to focus your eye, blink your eye and all that. Um, what this test basically does is it checks the thickness um, of your cornea now to have LASIK you need uh, a pretty healthy and thick cornea in order to have the LASIK um, which I will explain why in a second and some people just don't have a thick cornea it's either genetic or <coughs> due to their eyesight um, and honestly I didn't know too much about it so I was going into this thinking yeah yeah I'm, like I'm young why wouldn't I have a thick cornea you know um, I ended up doing the test on the same day of the surgery, which I believe was November 29th, 2018. Um, and literally, minutes before, as I was waiting um, with my surgery cap and all that in this little tiny room, my surgeon comes to me, opens the door, and he's like, oh, by the way, you're having PRK. And I looked at him, and I was like, what? He was like, yeah, um, your cornea is not thick enough for LASIK. Um, the recovery period for PRK is a little bit more painful for two to three days, but you'll be fine. Um, I don't remember if I was nervous or scared. I don't think I was scared because I was not told how bad the pain actually would be. So, um, honestly, I didn't think much of it. I was just like, okay, cool, whatever. So, now to explain the difference between the two. PRK um, is when the doctor cuts a flap in the middle. So, basically, the best way I can explain it is... He cuts a circle around the black part of your eye, or the colored part of your eye, um, lifts that, kind of scrubs your eye, reshapes your cornea with the laser, the laser shoots back in, reshapes your cornea, and then they close the flap over. Um, 
so as you can imagine that sounds really really painful but because with both surgeries you get numbing drops you literally don't feel a thing at all the only thing i do remember is smelling um burning eyeball flesh if that makes sense which smells very very weird um it's scary because it's literally your eye and you're just sitting there with these two clamp things opening your eyes wide open so you're scared you know you think they're gonna do something wrong or you're gonna feel a poke in your eye but thankfully i felt nothing it was just really 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 nerve-wracking which is why some people are offered i think xanax or anxiety pill before the surgery which i didn't take um because i'm not big on taking pills even when i'm sick so anyway that is lasik um many people who are athletes kickboxers soccer players very active people swimmers do not get lasik because I have heard some horror stories and you can ask any doctor and they will tell you uh, with LASIK if you get the flap cut open and you get a punch to the eye or you're in a small accident or you get an injury that flap can pop right open which I don't even want to imagine how painful that would be um, so that's the thing also with LASIK based on what I heard I spoke to countless and countless of people that have told me um, it didn't hurt as much during the recovery that they just had sensitivity sensitivity to light um, PRK on the other hand is for people with thinner corneas which means um, they're not compromising your cornea during the surgery so you're safe if anything happens and that is when um, you get the numbing drops your eye is clamped open just like the LASIK and they take a tiny tiny little knife and basically scrape off your entire eyeball now I know this sounds really scary and I'm probably making it sound worse than it is because like I said you literally don't feel nothing during the surgery um, but that's what it is the difference between the two is one is a flap cut in the middle and closed back um, which takes a few months to heal and could pop right open at any time and then the other one is basically getting your entire first layer of your cornea scraped off with a small tiny uh, I don't want to say knife but um, scalpel I guess it's like this little knife thing I don't know I didn't really see it but you could feel it with no pain of course um, so I had thin corneas and I had to have PRK they scraped off the top layer of my cornea reshaped it um, and the, the laser shaped my eye and I smelled my eye burning which is really weird um, now the, also the difference between PRK is at the end of PRK I believe they put in a protective lens literally like this really really thick eye contact that has to stay in your eye I think for five days <clears throat> from what I remember it was five days um, you can return to your doctor to have it taken out if you're scared of all that but I just texted my doctor and he was like yeah cool you woke up today you're fine you can take them out yourself which I did which took a few minutes because I was anxious but that's fine anyway now to explain <coughs> the recovery period oh boy um, okay before I start I have a really high pain tolerance like I've had literally almost every skincare um treatments out there in the world i've had countless of needles put into my face which do not bother me i have multiple tattoos um i'm not really scared of needles <clears throat> or pain i have a i would say a pretty high tolerance pretty high pain tolerance i mean um this was probably the worst worst pain i've ever experienced in my entire life and i don't want to scare anyone but i'm making this video because i'm gonna be honest and keep in mind this is because I had PRK not LASIK so if you're lucky enough to have LASIK then you won't go through this um, I can't speak on LASIK because I didn't have that so I'm speaking on PRK today which um, has a way way more painful harder uh, healing stage so right after the surgery you come out which by the way I'm sure most of you know this but I'm just gonna say it you obviously can't have zero makeup on your face uh, whatsoever you have to have a completely clean face to prevent infections um, whether that's face or eyes but anyway what was where was I I completely forgot where I was um, oh right right after the surgery um, I think the most magical part for me was you literally can see right after the surgery like it was crazy I just remember them telling me to get up um, and I looked across the room and I was like oh my god like this person's face isn't blurry to me I can see the poster on the wall it was literally insane like insane I, I can't describe it um, but as someone that has lived 21 years uh, almost blind it was a pretty magical moment if I might say so you can see right away except um, don't expect to wake up 
or I mean come out of the surgery not wake up because you're awake during the surgery um, don't expect to come out of the surgery and just have like BAM 2020 vision um, basically feels like you have a dirty contact or dirty uh, glasses on your eyes everything's kind of fuzzy um, kind of like the best way I can describe it is when you're watching a movie and the character or the uh, what do they call it the person in the movie is like dreaming or something and then the screen gets all fuzzy it's kind of like that that's the best way I can describe it. I haven't seen anyone describe it like that yet. So I think I'm explaining it pretty well. Um, that's what it feels like. Everything's kind of fuzzy. Your eyes come out extremely watery and like just puffy. I just remember my eyes looked huge. My pupils looked huge too. I don't know if that has to do with the eye drops or because they do put a bunch of like antibiotic eye drops and all that. Um, you can see but everything's a little blurry. And that lasted for about seven days I would say. So you want to give yourself a week. Most people go back to work within... I think four days but if you do like computer work or something like that I think you need at least seven days at least so um, I had no pain after I just felt really weird and everything was blurry um, and they tell you to sleep after the surgery which is literally all you're gonna want to do because light even the smallest light is extremely sensitive to you and when I put my phone on I was kind of like this it was like not painful but your eyes will automatically want to shut um so day one wasn't bad i basically spent it all day sleeping um day two oh day two i was not warned about this and i don't want to blame my doctor um because i feel well i don't know it honestly depends on your doctor but i feel like if my surgeon had told me this i a hundred percent a hundred percent would not have gone through with the surgery so i'm kind of glad at the end of the day that he didn't but um the second day i woke up um blind and when i say blind um i'm not exaggerating i was literally blind i couldn't open my eyes they were like it was like someone took crazy glue and glued both my eyelids shut and as you can imagine i panicked the frick out i literally panicked i had a panic attack i woke up and i was like wait a minute i can't open my eyes and i'm in extreme pain extreme like burning 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 basically imagine someone took nail polish remover open that up and just poured the whole thing in both your eyes while not being able to open them just picture that that's what i went through and that was only day one so i remember i woke up at around seven um and also they gave me about four or five eye drops one was for pain which didn't do nothing at all at all it's a lie i didn't i stopped taking it because it didn't do nothing <clears throat> one was for pain one was, one was to keep your eyes lubricated to prevent dry eyes the other one was an antibiotic and the fourth one was for redness it was like a steroid or something like that <clears throat> i think there was four total um i woke up at seven and i was literally like this and i tried waking up my husband and i was like wake up wake up and he was like what's wrong and i was like i literally can't open my eyes like i'm freaking the hell out and i think i freaked out more because i wasn't warned about this now i don't know how other surgeons doctors go about this topic but i was not warned that i would not be able to open my eyes so as you can imagine i freaked the hell out um i made my husband call the doctor right away uh he called him and he was like hey like she can't open her eyes it's normal um and the doctor was like yeah 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 it's completely normal it'll be gone by day three well not day three i mean um surgery day day one day two then that day so that's technically day four but we're gonna call it day three for now he was like yeah 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 she'll be fine by day three um thankfully my husband took off two days off work so that he could help me because he literally had to walk me around the entire house take care of me lead me i could not touch my phone my phone forget about that i could not even unlock that my eyes like i said were literally glued shut so i i i want to say i experienced being blind for two days but i don't want to sound dramatic because I can't say I know what that feels like and I feel extremely bad for anyone who does have to live that way but um, honestly it also humbled me a lot but anyway back to the topic um, the pain was unbearable like I said it was like someone dropped or not dropped poured nail polish over into both my eyes and all I could do was push on them which you're really not supposed to do don't do that I don't recommend that because you're not supposed to put you're not supposed to strain your eyes. I mean, they just had surgery. You're supposed to relax them. Um, so I spent my entire day sitting like this on the couch, like this. Um, and I also made my husband... 
Keep in mind, my eyes were glued shut, but even the smallest light made my pain 10 times worse. So I made my poor, poor husband uh, live in the dark for two days. And I mean literally dark. Like, I made him shut off every single light in the house. In the house, every single light. Kitchen, hallway, bedroom, living room, everything. So he was watching Netflix for those two days while he was helping me heal. And I just had to, all I could do really was listen because I got so sick of sleeping it got to the point where it was depressing like you when you sleep so much you get to a point where you don't want to sleep anymore like at all so he would watch and i would just sit there and kind of listen to his tv show which made me even more depressed because i really wanted to watch with him um but anyway that wasn't the big deal i took the strongest for those who don't know my husband's a pharmacist so thank god he kind of helped with all that i took the strongest narcotics drugs well not actual drugs but you know what i mean uh, painkillers, everything, everything, even the drops they gave me for pain, nothing worked. Now, I don't want to say this is going to be the same for everyone because obviously that's not the case. Everyone heals differently, everyone have diff has different eyes, blah, 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 blah. Nothing took my pain away, nothing. So basically, I had to spend it um, being depressed, sitting like this, and just pressing it on my eyes because when I look back, that's the only thing that took my pain away, like doing like this, which is, <laughs> which looks really stupid, but... I had to do that that's the only thing i could do so my husband spent the few days watching netflix i spent them listening to netflix um and i slept whenever i could but like i said it gets really really depressing when you sleep so much i got to the point where i was like okay no i'm not sleeping anymore i'm done day two so surgery day one day two which could be day three but we're gonna call it day two um was the same exact thing as day one uh same thing i spent that doing that and from the pain, I literally did not eat for like 48 hours. Um, I'm the type of person that clearly everyone knows loves food. But because of how bad, how bad the pain was, the burning, aching, glued shut pain in my eyes, I just didn't eat. I think I was also grumpy. So that was probably the worst two days of my entire year. Um, I do remember though on that day around... I want to say 2 a.m. but maybe it was 4 a.m. because I just remember we just got I got at least I got so sick of sleeping that I just stayed up all the time maybe it was around 2 a.m. the third day after surgery so it was surgery day second day third day but way way at night so technically it was third day I mean fourth day um, but I remember it was 2 a.m. and my eyes started to loosen up that sounds really gross uh, I, I started to feel like I was able to open them so I was sitting literally on this couch it was like 2 a.m. Uh, and I kind of tried to open them like this and I was able to open them but the light was very very sensitive still to my eyes so I was kind of like this and I still kept the lights off but at that point I was able to open my eyes still could not use the phone because the light even at the lowest brightness setting made my eyes burn very bad so I couldn't check my phone still then um, I was able to open them a bit so that was good I could at least walk around the house without having to drag my husband everywhere um, the pain was still there but it wasn't nearly as bad as the day after surgery so i would say like 2 a.m third day after surgery is when i started to get better still could not function but way better than before um uh four day four and five came day five was when i called my surgeon and he was like yes you can take the contact out you're fine um i took them out and that's when i started to to see i could actually watch tv with my husband and not have my glasses on i started to do computer work without my glasses on and that was probably now in the moment when i was in pain i was like oh my god i literally wish i never freaking did this this is the worst pain in the world but after once i healed i was like oh my god i'm so happy i did this so it was like a whole roller coaster of emotions um during that entire week but like i said day five i took the contacts out i kept putting my drops in which i think you're supposed to put in for two weeks um my no okay my surgeon said that i shouldn't wear makeup for a month my sur my surgery was november 29 mm. i put makeup on about seven days later which <laughs> i do not recommend but nothing happened to me so thank god praise the lord um most surgeons say two to three weeks two weeks is usually fine i think my surgeon's a little dramatic if you're watching this hi thank you but i think you were just a little bit dramatic i mean no no i don't think i could wait a month without wearing makeup i, mean, I had things to do i had places to go i had things to get done um, especially because it was right before the Christmas came up and New Year and all that So I wore makeup seven days later Nothing happened, thank God But it wasn't like heavy eye makeup It was mascara and liquid liner, I think um, I don't think I lined the inside of my eyes Maybe I did Anyway, I was really, really careful Especially when removing 
Um, now, a lot of people say, oh my gosh, Leo. <laughs> now, a lot of people um, say they suffer from dry eyes permanently after the surgery. I, thankfully, it's been about 30 days now. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm all dressed up, I'm filming this right before we head out for New Year's Eve. So, um, like I said, many people say they suffer from permanent dry eyes, but those same people have told me that it's completely worth it to have good vision. Um, I, thankfully, I think it's because I had PRK. Some people still get it with PRK, but I don't know. Um, I don't have dry eyes. I have literally no side effects from what I noticed. I can see, I think 2020 right now, I still have to go see my doctor for one last visit to make sure everything's okay. But I think I can see 2020, which literally is life changing. I can't explain how much this has impacted my life in a positive manner. Um, this dog, guys, he's like Leo. Oh my God. Get out, come out. We're going to finish this video and you're going to stop distracting me. Um, I can't tell you guys how much this impacted um, my life. Even driving now, much, much better than before. Um, it's basically impacted everything. And even now, I know it's been about 30 days, but it's so crazy because even when I sit down to watch TV or use my computer, I'm like, wait, I need to go get my glasses. And I literally do it. I put them on. And I'm like, wait a minute. These aren't helping. It's just making things worse. Why? And I'm like, oh wait, I had eye surgery, right? Um, so yeah, the last thing I think I'm going to cover is the cost. Now, it depends what country you're in. Country? <laughs> it depends what country you're in and who you go to, the experience of your surgeon and all that stuff. From what I've heard, it ranges from 2000 so 2K per eye. Uh, so it could either be 4000 for the full surgery or I've seen other people say it was 5k per eye, which is an absurd amount to pay. But I mean, it's completely worth it. Think about it. I mean, it's going to change your life forever. So some people pay 2k per eye, some 5k, some 6k. Some, I've even heard some people pay 8k per eye. That's just insane. But like I said, it's still worth it to me. So even if I had to pay 8k, I would have done it still. Um, and some people pay... What it, who, who is, someone told me they paid uh, 1,000 per eye, which is really really cheap i don't suggest going cheaper with something like this because i mean it's your eyes um if anyone's scared of like going blind or anything i think from what i researched because like i said i researched this for years before doing it um there has been zero cases of blindness there have been a few rare cases where some people have had either lasik or prk and their vision has just gotten worse and worse and worse after the surgery and it was basically like they didn't do anything which is really, really sad, but like I said, it depends on your eyes, your eyesight. Um, I've also heard the, the worse your prescription is, the more expensive the surgery is. I don't know if that's true, um, but that's what I heard for Canada and I think the US. I don't know about other countries, so I can't say. But yeah, it ranges from 2 to 5k per eye, basically is what I'm going to say. Um, I think I covered everything. For pain, like I said, I was okay by day 4. I... I'm pretty sure my pain was completely gone by the fourth day. So surgery day, the day after that, the day after that, and then the fourth day, I was completely pain free. Um, the blurriness, that's, I know that's what someone, not someone, I know that's what all of you are wondering. The fuzziness or whatever, that was gone uh, by two weeks. So give yourself two weeks for that to go away. I also had a uh, double vision when I watched TV during the first few days. Uh, that also took two weeks to go away. And I had double vision on my phone, on my laptop. Basically, everything was double vision, which is so weird. And I was actually scared it was going to stay like that forever. Uh, because I've heard someone suffer from that after the surgery, like for the rest of their life. Um, but thankfully, that was not the case. Like I said, give yourself two weeks for all the symptoms to go away and you'll be fine. Once again, um, I am extremely thankful for my surgeon. I'm so, so glad I did this. Specifically, in November, like I did this a month before... The new year which is literally perfect i'm so happy um i really love my results i have zero side effects and my life is forever changed so thank you guys so much for watching don't be uh hesitant to drop any questions below if i missed anything uh you can message me on twitter 
at izara or instagram zara xo so one uh and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye i was wondering what i looked like with my glasses okay they're really dirty now oh my god what's up this is the old zara which is officially gone <laughs> hi baby okay we're not gonna lick mommy's lipstick off anyway <laughs>